Hello everybody, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Celestron Next Image 5 Solar System Imager from Celestron. Now I got this from eBay for, let's see, I paid $119 and about, I think, $5 shipping for this. And I'm going to be unboxing it here. Here's the box that it, that it came in the mail with, basically a box like this here small box like this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what you get. Um, so this is n normally a $160 to a $200 uh, product that is used for planetary imaging. Now, from what I know, this can't really be used for deep space imaging with the um, cheap telescopes, the, the ones that are probably under maybe, uh, I don't even know, like, the $500 range, maybe you could, I don't know. Um, it's really, I don't think it's really intended for deep space uh, viewing. But anyways, we're gonna do some unboxing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box up and I'm gonna show you uh, what comes in the box and we're gonna see what we get here. And if you guys enjoy this video, feel free to uh, hit the like button so you guys know what you're getting when you uh, buy this. If you buy it anywhere, so you know what, what, what it what it looks like and what comes in the box. I don't know what comes in the box, never used one of these before, but feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will um, try using it and show you some of the uh, stuff that I got or some of the images and, and video that I do with it. Um, and we'll see. So here's the box, it's being open right now. I'm gonna go ahead and move my microphone out of the way a little bit. So. Right out of the package, right out of the box here, um, is my invoice right here. I'm not going to show you that. Um, there's some. There's a little bit of bubble wrap. There's a little bit of bubble uh, popcorn in here with with the box. I'm going to try to get this this box out without spilling the popcorn. Apparently, this this box um, is pretty small. I'm not really sure. Okay, yep. It's just this is the little box that you get. Hopefully, I'll see if I can get some good. Uh, I think that's all that's really in the box. It was on the top of the thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the box to the side here. So here's the next image five. Apologize for the glare. This is what the box looks like. This is what the camera looks like on the box. See if I can get a close up of that. Feel free to pause at any time of this video to uh, to read this if you wanna read it. I apologize for the glare. So here's the box, next image five from Celestron. Um, I'll give you a little tour on the box here. Feel free, again, feel free to pause at any time of this video to be able to read some of the stuff that's on the box here. If you guys want to read what's on the box, if you if you like, feel free to pause the video so that you can read. Okay, I'm going to give you a tour of the other side. I believe it's, okay, I believe that was the French side or a different language. So this is the English side. Hopefully you guys can read that. Again, feel free to pause the video at any time. Um, if you want to read that. And this is the side of the box here. Model number and the back side. Here's the back side. Let's see if I can give you guys a close up of the back side. So this is the back side of the box. If you guys can see that pretty good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open this box up and see what we got inside the box. So here we go. All right, so right off the bat, we got a manual. So it's a user manual on how to use it. User manual, Flashron, it's the user manual. Put that in the box that it came with. Um, we got iCap software here. This is an iCap software. You install this on your computer. Hopefully you have a um, an external drive or your computer has a, uh, a, a <laughs> optical drive to be able to install the disk. Otherwise, I'm sure you can probably go online and get it. Uh, the next thing in the box, it looks like, is the cable and the camera. Uh, the camera appears to be in a in a uh, interesting. Um, let me put the box down real quick. Um, so let me get see if I can get the camera out here. Okay, so this appears to be the camera right here. It comes in a little um, tin foil thing. Apparently, it looks like, um, which I was kind of scared of this, it looks like it probably does not come with a cap. So if you plan to buy one of these, definitely consider getting the cap, like a, a dust cap for it. 
Um, luckily, I, I might have an old one that I can pull out and use. I'm not, maybe it does come with a dust cap. Nope, it doesn't look like it comes with a dust cap. And then this is a little cylinder. Now, this is a two point, a two point uh, five inch or a quarter, a one quarter inch um, eyepiece lens. This goes inside your telescope, and then I assume the camera screws on to this here. Now, I'm not going to take the camera out of the package because. Right now, I don't want dust, and I live in a really um, dusty environment, so I really don't want to open this up and show you what it looks like because um, I don't really want a chance getting dust particles on the on the lens. I apologize if you wanted to see what the camera actually looks like, but I'm sure the camera looks like the picture on the box. And then you get like a USB cable. Um, I'll see if I can take the USB cable out real quick so you guys can see what the USB cable looks like. Now, it appears to be a one millimeter USB cable, so it's probably about one meter, one meter long. Uh, it's rolled up in a little uh, thing here, and then it uses a. Uh, this is a. I forgot the name of this USB port, but this ha this part right here plugs into um, the. Uh, see if I can, I can't even get the focus to come in. This plugs into the camera into the the slash run uh, next image, and then this part here goes into your computer so this part will go into your laptop um, USB port and this cable goes into your uh, next image and then you obviously would install the software and then once you have the software installed um, I'm sure you'll have to figure that all on your own like I said I just want to do a quick video on unboxing the Celestron next image 5 uh, for everybody to be able to see because I didn't really see any videos on YouTube that shows the unboxing again this is the little camera it comes in it should come in a, a tin foil thing like this if you get it brand new and again I paid a um, hundred and hundred twenty five dollars for this next image five off of eBay um, I thought it was a really good deal it, it appears to be brand new so I would assume that it's gonna work just fine um, unless the device is defective which I'm sure I could probably go to Celestron and get her get them to, to, to replace it uh, rather than going to the seller um, but yep that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I plan to do some videos on this uh, next image whenever I uh, have clear skies to do it and once I do I'll have some videos out hopefully on this channel and you can check them out and see um, what they look like and as always clear skies happy stargazing and uh, thanks for watching be sure to subscribe if you have any questions for me Leave them in the comments below. Thank you again for watching.